we owned a nightclub in New York called the Peppermint Lounge, which was a, uh, a rock and roll nightclub. We opened that in 1958. They did a very, very good business with that. And it was, uh, you could maybe call it, maybe the first rock and roll nightclub in, uh, in New York City. So anyway, when we opened up, uh, now after a few weeks, we knew that this was going to, you know, go, it was going to continue. So that's when we came to Miami. We brought it out to Miami because, you know, Miami was uh, like a mecca for three or four months in the winter. Everything happened in Miami. It was the center of the entertainment world, really. So that's what we decided to come down here. We opened up on 79th Street and we were, we were a big success. One night I was in the office and the, the, the uh, pretty face, the maitre d' said, uh, he said, Dick, there's not King Cole here to see you. Not King Cole. <laughs> no, I was a kid, you know. I couldn't even believe it. And I loved Night King Cole beside. So I walked out and there he was, tuxedo, you know, what a gentleman. Uh, I says, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, I'd like you to do me a favor, you know. What would that be? He says, uh, I would like to sit in with the band. And I, I, I couldn't, you know, it didn't uh, register with me. I, I was not he says, because I want to feel rock and roll. I want to feel. So uh, he get, he would come in there every night and he would play with the band. And uh, one night, uh, Jackie Wilson came in with Sam Cooke. And uh, they saw this, and Sam did a, not a single, a double, a triple take, because he couldn't believe that Nat King Cole was playing for the band. He, you know, he looked as he couldn't believe it. And I, of course, I made a joke on playing it down. I said, you like my new uh, piano player, you know, and something like that. I get two kicks on Route 66. Go through St. Louis, Joplin, Missouri, and Oklahoma City, that's mighty pretty, you'll see, Amarillo, Gallup, New Mexico, Black Beverly.